hey and welcome back to another video so this is another repair video of mine and it's been a while since I've done a repair video because I stopped buying broken phones because I really have nowhere to keep uh, my phones I'm running out of space here in my uh, college apartment uh, it's actually not true that I stopped buying I actually stopped sending them over to my apartment I do buy phones but I send them over back home to my mom's house and whenever I get to go back home after college because uh, I'm stuck here after COVID flight restrictions and stuff. Uh, but whenever, whenever I do go uh, back home after graduating and stuff, I'll be able to do videos on those phones that I've already sent there. And there's a bunch of phones, so stay tuned for that. So what we have today is this. Uh, it's a Nokia C601, which I've had for like about a year and a half. And um, this phone has a uh, particular issue that is not easy to fix. It's not a rare issue, but it's not common either. I bought it for the price on screen here. If I ever manage to find the original listing, it's been like a bunch of years. It's been about a year and a half now. So if I uh, manage to find the listing, I'll put it up here and you'll see the price there. So the issue we have with this phone is this. Uh, the six dot loading screen it won't go past this six dots no matter what I try it will not go past um, I tried the uh, finger combo reset method nothing works so that issue is there I tried plugging it plugging it to a computer it won't detect properly it keeps uh, detecting and going off detecting and going off so today in this video we'll take this thing apart and we are going to reflow the um, memory module on this phone which is the main issue that could be causing that uh, the memory memory module reflow and we'll actually clean out the board and stuff and we'll see if that fixes it if not um, it's probably one of those issues that really can't be fixed and the main reason is it won't connect to the computer properly I mean if I can get it to connect to the computer um, and it w if it would stay connected it would be much easier but since it's not booting up properly I realize that uh, the drivers are not being able to detect what this phone exactly is so let's jump into taking this thing apart but before we jump right in don't forget to smash that like button as always and hit that subscribe button down below and uh, ring that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video I'm on Instagram discord and Twitter and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below okay so let's uh, take this thing apart let me get a proper screwdriver for start alrighty so um, I also have to point out that uh, you may have noticed that the video is of a lower uh, quality today and that's because I've been uh, doing another video for my Nokia E7 which coincidentally is uh, the running mate to the Nokia C601, the Nokia E7 here and that phone has been acting up and not letting me do the video properly so I have to fix that on the side. It's a small repair that I'm trying to figure out. Uh, but I have already recorded a lot of things on my iPhone 11, which is my main recording phone and I don't have space on that. So I'm using uh, this phone, uh, my iPhone 7 to do the recording for this video. So sorry about the reduced quality. It's just for a couple of videos until I'm done with that bigger video. So yeah. Okay, so uh, for the sake of time, uh, this video will be fast forward as usual. So we have the phone taken apart here and we have the motherboard out here now. I was having a quick look at the board and uh, there are some of these parts, well most of them, or actually is that all of them, that they're soldered to the board and there's no way I can get to them, which is kind of a bummer. Because um, the RAM should be underneath here somewhere, either it's here or it's there. So the problem is, uh, I have no way to access them. Um, because these these are soldered to the board these are not the removable type so kind of a bummer there but still we're just gonna heat up the board and see what happens so look, let me go get my heat gun and be right back okay so let's heat this thing up and see what's up So heating this thing up clearly didn't do anything because I tested it out and um, it still 
has that issue. I was searching also online, like if anyone had the identical issue. Um, there was one person back in 2011 on, I think it was Quora, who had asked a question regarding this, the six dots, but for the C601, that was basically all I could find. So no help online. Um, removing these shields. Now, I cannot find a video online on how to do that, but I believe they should be removable. The issue is there's no way uh, I can like watch a tutorial and do it because I've never removed these shields. Like the, the shields that can be removed will usually have like clips that you can put your finger in or a screwdriver in and uh, remove, but these don't seem to be that type. Uh, they're soldered to the board. But anyway, we're cleaning it out with alcohol. It could be a shot, especially in this area because uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of dust in that area, so I'm gonna clean that out and uh, we'll fast forward it as usual. So as you can see here, uh, it's still doing the same thing. I tried it a couple more times off camera with the heat gun and uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Um, now what I'm going to do is uh, try and clean up the USB port. I actually cleaned it up a bit earlier as well, but I'm going to clean it up a bit more uh, off camera because it'll take a while. And then I'm going to try and plug it into the computer and if that doesn't work, um, that's about it for this phone, I guess. There's nothing else I can do. Uh, the reset combos won't work, nothing works. So I guess it's just one of those things that I cannot repair at a level two stage. To repair such a thing, I'm pretty sure you need level three experience. And I've done a few level three repairs using other people's like friends' uh, equipment and stuff, but uh, I don't have all the tools necessary for level three repair, like a professional rework station and stuff. I mean, I can reflow some larger chips with the heat gun over there, but I cannot uh, uh, reflow and rework smaller chips and stuff without proper uh, sol soldering materials and stuff like that, and a proper microscope. Oh, my glove is also ripped. So um, I cannot do level three repair now. So um, yeah, that uh, will have to wait. Probably in the future, I may be able to do level three repair, but for now, uh, I don't have the equipment. So we'll put this thing back together and try and plug it to a computer. So plugging it to the computer uh, yields the same results. It connects for like two seconds and then um, it just disconnects. I guess this is one of those repairs that I cannot complete. Uh, I usually have a 85% success rate and this is probably one of that 15% where I cannot repair a phone. And most of the time it's just due to the lack of equipment. So I will definitely be revisiting this phone in the future when I'm able to uh, un basically undo those shields on the board and I'm able to access the memory module itself. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that by hitting the subscribe button. I'll definitely revisit this phone in the future when I do have a proper reflow station and stuff like that. But until then, uh, you can go check out all the other repairs I've done, my, or done on my channel, uh, which there are also other fails that I couldn't do and also a lot of successful videos uh, where I managed to fix the phones as well. Like I said, I usually have a success rate of roughly 85%. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope it, you enjoyed this video and if you really did, please leave a like on this video down below and consider hitting that subscribe button and ring that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Instagram, Discord and Twitter and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.